What up guys, welcome back to the channel. It's your guy something, something, something. Hit the keys here today with a quick review over Trap Drive by DigiNoise. Um, and I also got the announcement of the winners of the giveaway. Hey, so go ahead and pay attention to the end of the video to catch that announcement. Uh, but let's go ahead and get right into this plugin. Some, some, some hit the key. All right, so Trap Drive is basically a distortion plugin. It's got uh, some different functionality. It's got like seven different modes, types. You can add the amount of distortion that you want to use, the input and output. You can suppress it. You can oversample it. You can do a lot with this plugin. Uh, so I'm just going to start off and play the beat that I made um, with this plugin. Um, and then I'm going to go through some of the different distortions that you can use on different instruments. All right, so there's just a little sample of a beat we're gonna start working with. Uh, um, first thing I'm gonna start off with is this guitar. I'm gonna let you guys hear what the guitar sounds like before I put the trap drive on there and then after it, and then I'm gonna go through um, some of the, I guess I don't wanna say presets, but just some of the, um, some of the functionality of the plugin. So here's what the guitar sounds like without the trap drive on it. And then with. Um, I hope you guys have headphones on for this one. Uh, you'll need it for the 808 part. Uh, but I'm just going to go ahead and go through some of the different types and some of the amount. Um, and so that you can just hear what this distortion can do for your instruments. So you'll see um, it adds different kinds of distortion onto the guitar, which is pretty nice. Um, with the knobs, the output, basically, if you turn that to the left, it turns down the volume um, coming out. And if, you know, the input, obviously, it's how much you put in, but you turn that to the left, too, and it'll turn up how much volume is coming into the actual plugin. Um, so now I'm going to play it on the 808 pattern. Um, so you guys can hear what it sounds like on an 808. Make sure you have headphones phones on for this so that you can hear uh, the difference, I guess. Um, so this is what the 808 sounds like without the trap drive on there. So it's just a basic sub bass, 808, whatever. Um, but we'll put this trap drive on there and you can hear the difference. Right now, I'll just go through some of the settings on this so that you can hear the different ways it can make your uh, sub or your 808 sound. So, you know, you suppress it and it's going to, you know, make it blast a little more.
So you see there, it can give your 808 all kinds of different sounds. Um, you can even put different instruments on there. So like you can put your kick on there. Um, so let's go ahead and throw a kick on there and see what that sounds like. Um, and I also uh, put a synth on here so that you guys can hear what a synth sounds like on this. Um, let's mute the 808. So this is what the kick's gonna sound like without the trap drive on it. And then we'll go through some settings with. Um, so like you can put, um, you know, this one, just about anything. I mean, I don't want to say anything. You can put it on the master bus. I know some of you animals out there, um, that's your flavor and that's your thing. And that's fine. Um, that's just not, you know, it's not what I do, but you know, you can do whatever you want. It's music, you know? So this is what the synth will sound like, um, without the trap drive. And this is what it'll sound like with the trap drive. So again, you can put this on just about anything um, and, you know, it'll distort it and make it sound different. Um, some ways good, some ways bad. Um, the people at DigiNoids are also the people that made that Subdivine Light plugin that I did a review on last week, that free 808. Make sure you get that. Um, they sent the full version over to me, so I'll go ahead and check that out and I'll do a review on it maybe next week. I'll let you guys know what I think. Um, but it's that time. It's time to announce the winners. Hey, um, so I guess I want to say thank you, everybody who participated in the contest. Um, we had people all over the world went, uh, enter the contest and people all over the world won the contest. So that was pretty dope to me, too. Uh, we had five winners. Um, Acer from South Carolina, uh, Nathan from Ireland, Anna from Brazil, uh, Anurag from India and Michael from Germany. So that was pretty dope to me. Five different winners, five different um, countries. Um, that, that's just awesome. Um, so I'll go ahead and uh, make sure to be played music reaches out to you guys. They'll send you guys the to be uh, filtered and to be reverb plugins. Um, and they'll send you everything that you need to get going with that. Um, I appreciate you guys this time. I appreciate you guys watching these videos. Um, I mean, I can't stress it enough. I appreciate you guys. Um, but I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. All right, guys and gals, thanks for watching the video. Uh, make sure you hit the subscribe and like button. Uh, make sure you hit that notification bell so every time a new video comes out, you can be the first to know. Uh, let me know what tutorials you want to see next in the comments, and see you next time. Some, some, some. Hit the key.